Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com and welcome to this week's episode of The Dog Pound. This week's wallpaper for the first segment is brought to you by username Avicina Med. His recommendation or their recommendation was an Ed Edward Nigma wallpaper. If you have a suggestion for a wallpaper, leave it as a comment below and I may use it in next week's show. We will have a different wallpaper for the second segment of this video. But let's get started with the comments. So this first comment was left for the last dog pound video that I did. Sky Pirate 600 said, "Didn't you wear that shirt already?" Let me think. Had I worn that shirt in the past 7 months I've been doing this show or for the previous 31 episodes? Probably. Yeah. Next up is a comment from 98 Flynn who said, "Sydney, are you a corrupted shepherd of a dogfish demon? Someone told me you were." Um, what? Here's a comment from Anuva Jack. They said, Sydney, you're such a fail. You're such a fail. You're such a fail. Yeah, I rest my case. Count it. Not even looking, and I still made it. Here's a comment from Zito Max. This person said, "Sorry, Nokia and Windows isn't going to make it to 2011. Even if they give it to me free, there's no development community like Android." Um, won't make it to 2011. I'm pretty sure they've already made it through 2011 and to 2012. Might want to check that. Oh, and by the way, for everyone who keeps making fun of me for the way I say Nokia, that's the right way to say it, okay? Listen to this video that's of a person who works for Nokia, speaks Finnish, listen to how they pronounce it. Yeah, don't mess with me. Lastly, here's a comment from CPU Crash 0. They said, "Only one iPhone is released a year and most of these rumors are not true and they are all probably just guessing." The new iPhone will probably be released around the same time as the iPhone 4S got released. I like how this guy dismisses all iPhone rumors as pointless speculation and then commences with giving his speculation on what he thinks will happen. Nice job, dude. Speaking of rumors, let's go to the news. The wallpaper for this segment is brought to you by Mr. Godspeed. The recommendation was a Ducati 1199, so that's what it is. So last week we saw the LG Lucid become officially official. It is available now from Verizon for only 80 bucks on contract. Now for only $80, you're getting a pretty awesome phone. The LG Lucid has a 4-inch Nova display, a 5-megapixel camera that captures full 1080p HD video, mobile hotspot support, and a dual-core processor, along with support for Verizon's LTE network. If you want to see what we think of the LG Lucid, check out Aaron's unboxing video as well as his full review of the phone. A couple of other hot devices that were made available are the HTC One X and One S. Now these are the international versions, so you can't get them on a U.S. carrier just yet. But according to a Best Buy email, the One X should be coming to AT&T May 6th, and we're hearing that the One S could be coming to T-Mobile on April 22nd. Aaron has already posted his full review of the HTC One X along with an unboxing, and you can check out the unboxing video of the HTC One S. One phone that we should see coming stateside is the HTC Evo One coming to Sprint. It has LTE support, a 4.7-inch AMOLED display, a dual-core processor, and Beats integration. Now this phone is just a rumor for now, so we're not entirely sure when it's going to come to Sprint. But keep your eyes open as we keep you guys updated on that. Now it's time for a segment called "Where's My Update." It has a million question marks to represent how many times I get asked that question. Sony has announced that the ice cream sandwich update will start for 2011 Xperia devices starting mid-April. Now the first handsets to get the ice cream sandwich update will be the Xperia Arc S, the Xperia Neo V, and the Xperia Ray. This update will start rolling out sometime in mid-April and will last for about four to six weeks. Afterwards, starting in late May or early June, the Xperia Play, Xperia Arc, Xperia Neo, Xperia Mini, Xperia Mini Pro, Xperia Pro, Xperia Active, and Sony Ericsson Live with Walkman will then be getting the ice cream sandwich update. 
Now these next few update schedules are only based on leaks, so don't hold your breath waiting for the update, but we are hearing that the Droid Razor and the Droid Razor Max will begin getting the ice cream sandwich update this Wednesday, and then on Friday, the HTC Resound will be getting ice cream sandwich. So that's it for this week's segment of Where's My Update? So you remember when Google tried that experimental store where they sold the Nexus One and it was a complete failure and it pretty much just crashed and burned? Well, they decided to give it another shot, except this time they're going to sell tablets. Uh, they're going to sell the tablets from Asus, Samsung. It won't be Google-made tablets, but they'll just be Google-branded tablets. This is just a rumor according to sources from the Wall Street Journal. Supposedly these tablets may be subsidized, so you could get them at a cheaper price, supposedly to compete with some other inexpensive tablets like the Amazon Kindle Fire. Now since this is just a rumor, we're not sure if it's going to happen or when it will happen, but it's kind of interesting. What do you think? Do you think that just because Google failed in the past that it will fail now, or could it actually be successful? Let me know in the comments below. So that's it for this week's episode of The Dog Pound. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you have a suggestion for a wallpaper, leave it as a comment below and I may use it in next week's show. But continue leaving your funny, random, and weird comments and one of them could be featured. All of the news topics that I talked about in this video are in the description with links. You can easily read all of those articles. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com and I'll see you guys later. Bye.